We spoke to EY's Pippa Dussier about partnerships and growth. Thank you very much for joining us today, Pippa. You're here to talk to us about partnerships and growth. So on that note, um, how is technology shaping the number and nature of partnerships in the TMT sector? So what we're seeing is partnerships in the TMT sector are, are far from you. They've been there since the inception and, and traditionally TMT companies have used partners as channel partners to access, take their products to consumers. Um, and that is a symbiotic relationship in which both organisations take a share of the end consumer value chain. And that's been a very um, accepted way of, of going to market. The change in what's happening is that on the one hand you've got shifting consumer perceptions and um, fundamental shift in the way consumers are both perceiving providers and, and purchasing. And then you've got technology changes which give companies a direct route to those customers through e-commerce and platform business models which mean that there are different types and numbers of partnerships that are available to TMT organisations. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's where we're seeing the shift. Um, so in the one sense we're seeing a shift in some instances away from traditional channel partners and we're starting to see very unlikely um, in some cases even competitors coming together within platform business models to market their products and services to end consumers and that, that's the main shift that we're seeing. What challenges are companies in the space facing and how can they collaboratively work together to overcome these? So I think the main challenges again is in terms of how do you access new forms of growth and how do you tap into new technology, um, I guess the opportunities that technology mm -hmm. provides in a way that doesn't either um, incur a lot of cost and also in a way that ensures that you have a position um, in, in the end consumer and really what we're seeing is, is a battle for ownership of that, of that consumer. Um, so if you take an example of, of customer data, customer data is um, you know, proliferating and it's across multiple touch points and there's an opportunity for organisations who have access to different types of that data to partner together to offer an enhanced proposition to the customer. So we are seeing um, mobile network operators and credit card providers um, being able to stitch together the purchasing behaviours and the geolocation of customers mm -hmm. um, to provide a richer picture of behaviours and therefore provide um, enhanced products to those end consumers. On that note, uh, what should these businesses look to get out of a partnership? I think the main thing is really focusing on that word partnership. There needs to be that symbiosis, there needs to be um, a, sh a shared goal, if you like. So either that shared goal is that um, it's sharing a, a portion of the value chain of the end consumer, or that shared goal may actually be around um, development or ownership of a product. So particularly if you, t if you take companies that are, that are starting out, um, partnership is a wonderful way to tap into um, a different type of skill sets and experts in the market without actually incurring those as a fixed cost. So ecosystem partners, partnering with um, design thinking, partnering with agencies. And but how organisations need to do that needs to be very much aligned with their brand values. So what we advise companies to do is to seek genuine partnerships in the way that there is, um, there's, there's a shared goal and there's, there's a common value system, but also to seek partnerships that offer a, um, offer a brand perception, I guess, that enhances the, the genuine nature of those. Um, so to be quite careful around who you partner with and so who you choose to do business with and who you m may say, actually that doesn't align with the type of organisation that we're looking to be in the eyes of the consumer. Great, well thank you very much for your time, Pippa. Thanks for having me.